I just think what I'll say. What up, primals? What up, primals? Coming from you deep. Coming from you deep. <laughs> <laughs> Coming deep within you. <laughs> what up, primals? Coming deep from inside the Amazon rainforest. I've been asleep out here in Mother Nature because that's what you would have want. <laughs> <laughs> I got this one. That wasn't a call, by the way, that was a baby gorilla. What up, primals? Coming from you deeper inside the Amazon rainforest here. I want to sleep outside all night with Mother Nature because that's what you would have wanted. Today, we've got a full day of honoring, struggling like our early ancestors. We're going to eat and train like Liver King. Liver King, out. <laughs> So, who is the Liver King? The Liver King has shot into social media stardom over the past year, predominantly for his use of TikTok. The man behind the Liver King phenomenon is Brian Johnson, an American bodybuilder who promotes ancestral living, a sort of paleo lifestyle that includes hunting, gathering, and eat, eating little processed food as possible. Liver King day to day tends to eat anything from testicles to bone marrow to even eat a pound of liver every day. He explains that he walks barefoot down the lake and subjects his body to cold temperatures, sleeps on the floor, lifts heady, fights, hunts, and struggles to overcome. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. So, pre-workout for the session today is nothing because he doesn't have one. So, Sam's going to have some water, some natural water from the Amazonian forest to cure the soul and body. Wow, I feel energized already. I've actually just taken some supplements, the morning supplements. I've taken it. A multivitamin, fish oils and biotin from my protein, 37% off if you use my coach Benji, link in the description. Mmm, very liquid. But, we're going to go and hit session one of the day of the Liver King's workout. It's going to be a push workout. Yeah. Trent said I got style for you. They see you at the top, it's been a while for you. Big you up and they look down on you. So, we are just finishing doing the warm-up on bench. The first movement is going to be bench press. Of course it is, because the man's got a chest like Jenna Jameson. So we start doing, building up to a two rep max on the bench with a wooden block. So he uses like a plank, which is like a, a wobble board or whatever it's called. I'd have put, I'll put the video up here. I was going to say I'll show you through the workout on the phone, but I've left the phone at home because I'm doing a digital detox cleanse for our ancestors. I'm not really, I just, I've got no pockets in these shorts. So. We're going to work up to two rep max on the bench. We'll see where that leads us. We're going to try and find a plate or a block, something that we can put on our chest to replicate the, um, the block press. So because the Liver King uses like a massive surfboard and we're not that primal, we're going to use these little 2.5k Alico plates to create the same basis to drive from from the bench press. So it's a little bit more unstable, but we've got 120 arms. We're going to go for the first two rep max to see how we get on. Trent said I got style for you. They see you at the top, it's been a while for you Big you up and they look down on you Take one loss, no one's around for you I won't stop, no, 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 no I won't stop, I won't stop I won't stop, no, 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 no. I won't stop, I won't stop yeah. I'm so handsome All in Carmines with my Benzo, I'm so fancy no romance, no got my baby and she right, she make you vanish No time to play, got book dates, had a plan, only had to wait Always knew I'd make a way, send a the bill, they send a the pay Keep it real, keep the record straight, keep it real, no time to fake Authentic in my own lane, I am me, tell them in the grave So the next movement we're going to do is a dips, obviously With being the liver king, he doesn't do it normally, so he uses Big massive chains to go on the neck if you're struggling to get hold of any of these, then you can just use your mum's anal beads, they'll work just exactly the same. But, whew, we'll go for these. We're gonna pound five sets of dips out to failure and just see how we get on. Trent said I got style for you. They see you at the top, it's been a while for you. <coughs> Big you up and they look down on you. Take one loss, no one's around for you. I won't stop. Whew. 10 with the anal beads, 10 with the anal beads. How the fuck am I getting these off, Cal? <laughs> am I taking the wrong one off? No, the right one. <sighs> oh, <God. sighs> fuck me, that was hard, that. Feels quite good with the um, chains though, because it naturally pulls you forward. So it emphasizes the feeling on your chest a little bit more. 
So, verdict on the workout. Quite a short workout, but I know that he does a couple of workouts per day, so that isn't the only thing he's gonna do. The free movements are all pretty power and strength based, so not exactly my forte, but what he's doing, he's doing a lot of strength work, he wants to be alpha, he wants to be strong, he wants to move well and be into all that ancestral stuff. However, if you want to build muscle, it is not the most optimal or best way to go. Oh. Oh, mate, I should have been for. I should have gone for a piss in here. So, the actual benefit of the ice bath aren't that physiological, so I don't. I think you more so do it for psychological, because if you're doing it for recovery purposes, you better just get on a bike and circulate the blood, but some people do it for blood pulling. Oh! Hopefully, that'll make it warmer. Get your chest in, come on. Just loads of going. So the good thing that he does with social media is he polarizes people so he brings in an audience then monetizes it by being just extreme like doing shit like this and his audience is very very loyal which is why he wants a supplement company and he sells a lot to them people and he's consistent with the shit that he does every single day <laughs> fuck quite yeah you don't fucking doing it are you Ugh. Ugh. Fucking hell. Oh my god. Woo! Oh, I do it. Oh, get out, get out! Fucking leg is so sore. Fucking. Penis going inside me. There's no way he does that every day. Really? Honestly, with the amount of testosterone and extra supplements that he's taking on top of doing stuff like that, the, the man must have an innie. <laughs> Legs are absolutely red dwarf. Cal, film a leg. Is it? I bet. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> it was on, honestly so cold. Like I've, I've not done an ice bath before. As I mentioned, the effect of an ice bath aren't that much physiological. You get some blood pulling and stuff. But the actual thing to do, which is better for recovery and scientifically proven, would just be to jump on a bike and do some blood flow stuff post training if you're trying to optimize your own recovery. Facts. And so to break this fast, we treated ourselves to a simulated successful hunt. We did 10 sets of 50 max effort push ups, and they were badass blood burning sets. And this is how you know you earned it. And this is how you honor the struggle of our early ancestors. This is how you honor your own genetic fitness so that you can express your highest form. So, I'm just finishing off the first round of push ups. So, what we're doing is we are doing the Liver King's simulated hunt. So, he does these in retrospect to him, what they would do in the wild years and years ago to go and capture food, hunt it, drag it back on the back, and the effort that it would take to go and capture that food and bring it back and cook it before you then eat, so it's almost like earning your food, which I'm not a massive fan of believing that the, you need to burn calories or you need to burn energy in order to eat. I think mean, like psychologically that doesn't sit well with me, but there is some things that I agree with the Liver King on, like with things such as that where we used to have to move for food, like years and years and years ago when you were a kid, you used to have to, even if you're going to get a chippy, you'd have to walk to the chip shop or walk to Domino's, buy it, walk home, require like a bit of energy expenditure. Now food is just calorie, calorically dense food, saturated fats, sweeteners, sugars, are all readily available by going on Deliveroo or just eating an order and it comes to your front door and then you don't even have to move to eat it. So I think we live in such a society where hyper palatable, hyper -palatable foods 
or literally just let it click at the button, which makes us lazy and is only gonna exacerbate of the word, exacerbate the obesity epidemic at the moment. So I'm only on set one. This is supposed to be 10 sets of 50 push-ups. I'm not getting 10 sets of 50 push-ups, so what I'm gonna do is do 10 sets of failure. And then we eat. Time to eat. What up, primals? No, I'm just joking. We have got our only meal a day, so he does an OMAD diet where he only eats one meal a day. So, we have got 200 grams of liver raw. I know, it looks sensational. We have got four burger patties with cheese on. And then we've got the Liver King concoction, which is basically a shitload of butter, a load of almond butter, a load of creatine, some cinnamon, and what else have we got in a cup? Uh, salt and salt cinnamon. Salt and cinnamon. So, although it looks, it's like a bit of um, a gloopy mix, it actually tastes good. And then we've got some maple syrup. Um, so this goes on the liver. Uh, and then we've got some Greek yogurt, 0% fat. So there's some of this going in there as well. Some of that going in there. And then put one big spoonful of concoction in. So pretty much it's sticking to like a, almost like a paleo or keto diet. So like high fat, high protein, and like obviously the one meal per day. He's saying he's earning this meal through the, the simulated hunt that we just done. This I'm guessing will then keep him full till tomorrow unless he's just bullshit and eating other stuff. The order in which I'm gonna eat this in is gonna make a big difference. I think we start with the worst first, being the law, law? The raw, is this? Is this normal to eat this? Is this okay? Am I gonna get food poisoning or? Am I gonna get food poisoning? That is my question. So we should have Googled this before we started. Yeah, but he's also on loads of trembling. <laughs> Whole thing, let's go. Oh, look at my cue. Oh, this is why this is the best option afterwards. That was better before we put the yogurt in it. The liver can concoction, I can conclude, is better non-diluted. Tastes a bit, tastes like salty yogurt, but I'm sure these beef burger patties are probably gonna be the best thing of the bunch. Okay, I can get behind these, because there's a bit of normality in there, but I think these two things are just done for absolute flex. There's no reason why you need to be eating raw liver in your diet unless it's your first name and then the yogurt and peanut butter mix i'd just rather have peanut butter and the yogurt with something else i not a shitload of creatine oh there's also i think whey protein in there that one as well so again just mega high protein high fats across the board i worry also about his digestive system i mean imagine how that man poos is in fear every time he hovers over it but High fat, high protein. I haven't worked out the calories and macros for it. I'm sure that he probably doesn't give a shit about what they are, so we're not gonna do that today either. So instead of finishing this whole meal off, I'm just gonna stick to a patty. It's only two o'clock and this is my only meal of the day. I'm actually gonna quite kindly, because I am a given human being, give the rest of my liver to Cal. There you go, Cal. And I'm gonna uh, finish off the patty. Finishing off editing this video that you're currently watching now. Today's thought on the Liver King's get a taste for what he does in a day. I actually think you're probably gonna I think I'm a bit mad when I say this. But I actually think the man's a genius. I couldn't do what he does daily. I don't even know that if this is actually what he does daily or whether he's sat down and conjured this up with some kind of marketing team or idea and then just put it into play for social media. Who knows who the real Liver King is? Who knows if he actually does this every day? Who knows if, if he's a character? Like, I don't think he stopped posting until 2018. So, what was he doing before that? Was he really living the ancestral lifestyle that he is now? I'm sure he'll continue to do so and continue to heighten up. 
But as far as I'm concerned, he's like a marketing and social media genius. Like he's brought in a hype. He knows what he does. He consistently stands behind the message. I actually think like some of the principles he sticks to are pretty legit. Some of them are just absolutely wild and far-fetched and obviously goes way beyond because we all know that those who shout the loudest get the most attention. I've also joked a couple of times in the video about his anabolic steroid use and no doubt for me that he's probably taking stuff. But why wouldn't he? Why would he not? If you were literally in the game of making a supplement company and making money from the way he looks, then it would be stupid for him not to. Like, who's he cheating? Is he cheating you? Is he cheating the sport that he's in? Because he's doing no sport. Is he cheating his competitors? He's got no competitors. So who's he really cheating? I think it'd be stupid not to. They're just my thoughts. I think is if you were stick to this routine all the time, it'd probably drive you mad. I think there's things to be learned from the stuff that Liver King does. I think it's very interesting. I can't stop watching him. And I'm sure a lot of people can't. And as it unfolds over the next couple of weeks and months, it'll be interesting to see what else he does. At the moment, he's in the Amazon rainforest, chopping up shit, <laughs> doing things. Uh, so I'm sure there's a lot of people who would like to live his lifestyle. I'm just not one of them. If you enjoyed the video, please drop it a like, just for the sheer fact that I have to sit in that ice bath and endure horrible, cold, raw liver meat. If it's your first time visiting my channel, please hit the subscribe button because it does help me a lot. And uh, I'm just gonna finish editing this bit. I'll catch you next week. It's good outro, isn't it? Corazón, dump in the jump for the shit. I'll tap when I speak, I'll cap with the